So what do we plan to do this year to explore these? Um, some of this work is already underway, but you can see up in the, on the map on the right hand side, at the very top, we have what's called the load nine grid proposed IP. That grid is actually completed. We did an IP survey uh, just uh, last month and we are waiting for the results to come back on that. Further to the right, you can see the vein zone grid. That was a soil grid that we did last fall. And we were able to trace some of these quartz veins in the vein zone over significant distances of about 1.5 kilometers where no work has ever been done. There's no vein exposed. A lot of the property is covered by uh, one, two meters of, of soil and till. So a lot of the geology is, is, um, is hidden, but the soil was able, the soil sampling was able to read through that. And we believe that there are some, some very good targets that we need to follow up on. Down in the south half of the property, you can see the, the large steep brook uh, grid. That's another soil grid that we want to do. Uh, we planned to do it last fall, but the weather closed in. We weren't able to get it done before the snow came. Uh, we'll do another big soil survey there to try to trace the VMS style mineralization. And right at the very bottom, the Steep Brook IP grid, uh, that's uh, uh, an IP survey that we want to do over one of our key uh, targets. And, and that will be done here quite soon. So phase one, we did most of that last year. Uh, phase two is starting this year, which includes the IP resistivity. Um, and uh, we also want to do a detailed mapping structural interpretation that brings in all of our um, airborne mag surveys and, and other surveys that have been done historically. And finally, we want to start drill testing some of these key anomalies um later this summer so uh we would probably focus in on steep brook uh load nine and the vein zone initially see what sort of results we come back with and and go from there so um keith i'll, I'll pass it back to you I've, I've probably rambled on a bit longer than i should have but i get pretty excited about this property and awesome. I, I think we uh I, I can hardly wait to get out there and uh and see what we can come up with Okay, thanks, Rob. Um, so as you can see, we're uh, fast approaching uh, spring summer season right now. We've got, as, as Rob was explaining, we've done some IP up what we call the load nine that we're going to be getting that data back, which will give us some drill targets to go after. Once we're able to get back on the property with the geophysicist, we'll be completing another IP grid down at Steepbrook. And then from Steepbrook, uh, the IP will be done up at uh, on the vein zone, what we call, and that's up at court A. So, and then we'll be getting more drilled, you know, targets from the steep brook and then eventually from the uh, vein zone. So we've got a, like a full summer of uh, work commitments ready to go. Like we've got IP drill targets, drilling. And so that'll carry us right through the summer. And then we'll probably start getting back. I would assume results from the drilling into the fall, into the late fall. So we've got, I think, a really good story. What I like about it is I've got prospectors that are super excited to get going. I've got Rob that is super excited. He's very familiar with VMS type targets. He loves this stuff and everybody can't wait to get going. So that's what's got me going and excited. And uh, I think we're going to have a fantastic season. So stay tuned and, and keep an eye on us.